Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be evaluating a rational expression. We have square root of 3 plus i divided by square root of 3 minus i to the sixth power. I'll be presenting at least three methods even though one of them is going to be incomplete but you, I know you can do the rest. So let's start with the first method we have square root of 3 plus i divided by square root of 3 minus i. Let's simplify the base first. So I want to go ahead and multiply this by conjugates. It's going to give me square root of 3 plus i over square root of 3 plus i. And now this product is going to be sum of two squares, 3 plus 1, which is 4. And this one is actually something squared, so I can square like this plus i squared is just going to be negative 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. And divide everything by 2, you're going to get 1 half plus root 3 over 2i. You could also write this as 1 plus root 3 all over 2 multiplied by i. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead, and I could probably write it that way. It might be a little better. Now, I'm going to go ahead and raise this to the 6th power. But to do that, I'm going to use a 3rd power and then a 2nd power. Of course, you can also use the 2nd power first. doesn't matter. No big deal. Let's go ahead and cube this and then we'll square it. Why don't we just 2nd power? You can do it directly as well, but that's going to be more complicated. Anyways, to, to cube this expression, you just need 1 minus 3 root 3i. Three plus 3 root 3i, the formula, the identity that I almost always use. And then that is going to be divided by 2 cubed, which is 8, and then we have to square this result. And if you simplify this, you're going to notice these two cancel out. And these two are going to give me minus 9, right? Because 9i squared divided by 8 and then it'll be squared. These two cancel out. Negative 8 divided by 8 is negative 1. If you square negative 1, you get positive 1. Yay! That's the answer. Okay? Cool, cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. I told you one of the methods will be incomplete, and it's this one. We're going to raise this to the 6th power, and then we can kind of separate it, right? We can raise this to the 6th power, and then we can raise that to the 6th power. And then we can go ahead and use the binomial theorem, right? Good luck with that. But again, if you wanted to just cube or square first and then do the other power, that's fine too, however you like. But this is also going to give you the answer. Make sense? Okay, cool. After the third method, if I can come up with a fourth one, uh, maybe we can talk about it because I said at least three methods, right? To be on the safe side. Okay, so we have square root of 3 plus i over square root of 3 minus i to the power 6. What I'd like to do is take the numerator and turn this into polar form. I'm going to take out a 2, which is the modulus. This is going to give me root 3 over 2 plus 1 half i. And then I need to find two numbers whose cosine is this and whose sine is this. You know that? It's pi over 6, right? 30 degrees. Yep. So this is cosine pi over 6. This is sine pi over 6. So our number can be written as 2 times e to the power i times pi over 6 in polar form, in Euler form, in the most compact form. This is just root 3 plus i, though. How do you do the same thing with this? Very similar. But this time, the angle is going to be different. Now, if you consider the unit circle, this is where the 30 degree is. And you just have to reflect it because the x stays the same, but the y value or the imaginary part is negated. So it's going to be 2 pi minus pi over 6, which is... 11 pi over 6, right? It's going to be 2 times e to the power i times 11 pi over 6. Awesome. Now, we're going to go ahead and divide these numbers. 2 times e to the power i pi over 6 
divide by 2 times e to the power i 11 pi over 6 and then this quotient will be raised to the 6th power make sense okay 2 cancels out I'm supposed to subtract the exponents e to the power i times pi over 6 minus 11 pi over 6 and then of course that thing must be raised to the 6th power but guess what you can kind of make a common denominator or just multiply by 6 it should give you e to the power i times pi minus 11 pi and that should be negative 10 pi and that should be the same as 2 pi why because it's a multiple of 2 pi so what does this tell you this tells you that when the angle is 2 pi radians or 0 radians or any multiple of 2 pi you're basically on the positive real axis and this is just going to be 1 so this is 1 and that's the answer make sense great let's go back to the first method and remember when we simplified it we found something like this right when we divided root 3 plus i and we could probably call this the fourth method when we divided these numbers we kind of got the following 1 plus root 3i all over 2 right and this actually can be written in polar form can't it because this is e to the power i times now we gotta find an angle whose cosine is one half in this case right and that should be pi over 3 why because notice this is cosine 60 right make sense so I'm gonna raise e to the power i pi over 3 to the 6th power by way of multiplication it's super easy e to the power i times 2 pi or you can write it as e to the power 2 pi i or you can write it as 1 which is the answer and this brings us to the end of this video well thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye